These icons never go out of style. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 classic British bands to crack the US. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be ranking the most prominent, popular, and influential British bands to cross over into the American market. We'll be considering groups which achieved success prior to the 1990s for this list, while also omitting artists known primarily for their solo work, such as Elton John and David Bowie. Is there life on Number 10, The Clash. There's a bit of an argument as to who exactly were the first punk rock band, but there's no denying the impact of The Clash upon groups in America as well as at home. This was due to a wide variety of influences The Clash brought to their sound. It wasn't always about aggression when it came to these Londoners, as songwriters Mick Jones and Joe Strummer sought inspiration from genres as diverse as reggae, dub and ska. Then there was Combat Rock, the 1982 album which went double platinum in the US and features such hit singles as Rock the Casbah and Should I Stay or Should I Go and the rest as they say was history. Should I stay or should I go now? Number 9, The Cure. Formed in West Sussex way back in 1976, The Cure were one of the earliest pioneers of goth rock and are still going strong 40 years later. This is thanks largely to the band's rabid fanbase, who sell out the band's 3 hour plus shows whenever the group goes on tour. It was the 1989 album Disintegration, I will which served as the band's commercial crossroads, ushering them firmly into the American mainstream with such hit singles as Love Song and Pictures of You. They've continued to straddle the line between morose and upbeat pop, ensuring a little cure for everyone. Number 8, Queen. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You there was no band, British or otherwise, past or present, quite like Queen, and no frontman possessing the same level of charisma as Freddie Mercury. Perhaps this is why these London legends managed to cross over so firmly into America. Audiences around the world gravitated towards the band's quirky, layered rock orchestrations, while Mercury's superstar stage presence and impassioned vocals raised the bar for frontmen everywhere. Not even Mercury's 1991 death could stop Queen from entering the upper echelon of classic rock icons, thanks to such huge hits as Bohemian Rhapsody, I see a little silhouette of a man Somebody to love oh, somebody, somebody. And the show must go on show must go on. Number 7, The Police Sometimes the best sort of creativity can arise from the worst sort of tension. This phrase could describe in part the lightning in a bottle magic which was the police, as the London-based group's relationship came to be known as a notoriously bitter one. Still, these stressful working conditions didn't stop bassist slash vocalist Sting, guitarist Andy Summers and drummer Stuart Copeland from creating some of the most unique pop music of the 1980s. The talents of all three men combined in a magical way, delivering thoughtful and intelligent tunes featuring influences from around the world of pop, rock, reggae and jazz. Number 6, The Who. You think we look pretty good together. 
Diversity, eccentricity and electricity were par for the course of this progressive group who thought nothing of writing expansive rock operas alongside short riff rock anthems. Singer Roger Daltrey seemed cut from the stone as the prototypical hard rock frontman, while guitarist and songwriter Pete Townsend was all windmilling energy. The Who seemed to write tunes tailor-made for overseas crossover potential, as proven by the success of radio mainstays Who Are You, I Can't Explain, Substitute and My Generation. Number 5, Black Sabbath. Wind, rain and that ominous church bell. These were the sounds which heralded Black Sabbath's 1970 self-titled debut, a crushing record which signified the onset of heavy metal into the public consciousness. There were few bands performing over-amplified blues as pounding as Sabbath during this time, and it wasn't only British audiences that started paying attention. Subsequent LPs such as Paranoid, Master of Reality and Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath would garner the Birmingham lads a devout following in the States, one which would continue through multiple lineup shifts and change trends to ensure Black Sabbath certified icon status. Number 4, Pink Floyd. Fans searching for the hazy roots of psychedelic rock need look no further than the discography of these London legends who pioneered the style during the late 60s before perfecting it in the 1970s. Pink Floyd did it all, from loud and noisy to smooth, mellow and emotional. The group suffered a couple of lineup changes, but have remained relevant throughout the years, especially in America where such albums as The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon saw Floyd's music reach a larger international audience than ever before. Number 3, Led Zeppelin. Just as Black Sabbath pioneered heavy metal in the 1970s, so too did their contemporaries Led Zeppelin overhaul blues into something similarly innovative. Although these London-based legends had a slightly more sensitive side than Sabbath, embracing diverse folk and psychedelic influences, that didn't stop Zeppelin from crossing over big time in America. Jimmy Page's superb riffing, Robert Plant's epic wail, and the incredible rhythm section of John Bonham and John Paul Jones were second to none during their day, and in the process crafted some of the most enduring rock anthems of all time. Number 2, The Rolling Stones. There are few British bands with as much instant international appeal as the iconic Rolling Stones. Maybe it's their raunchy, bluesy songwriting, or perhaps it's that stage magic which occurs between Stones frontman Mick Jagger and guitarist Keith Richards. Whatever the reason, there's no denying that this London rock institution has made commercial waves all over the world, America most definitely included. For many, it's the Rolling Stones that define rock and roll at its purest, most distilled essence, so who are we to argue? Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honourable mentions. You said no strings could secure you.
number one, The Beatles. Don't let me down. If you have ever dabbled into music post-1960, it is practically a given that you were influenced somehow by The Beatles. John, Paul, George and Ringo dared to raise and then smash the bar when it came to creative songwriting and unique arrangements. Hello, hello. turning pop music on its head with a genius which has rarely been equaled. All the lonely people, where do they all come from? British Invasion was just that when Beatles led an influx of English talent towards American shores. An incredible crossing over of talent whose legacy continues to be felt by artists around the world to this day. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.